Today's college football game is a rematch of the real-life game between the USC Trojans and Stanford University. The game features USC standout quarterback Caleb Williams, who is expected to be the number one overall pick in this year's NFL draft. This game ended in USC's favor by the score of 41 to 28 in real life, so let's see if Stanford can stop Caleb Williams and the high powered USC offense in this Stratomatic rematch. Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today. I'm here with another college football game for you. It's been a while since I've done college football, and I have an appropriate matchup for today, the Stanford team going up against the USC Trojans. And we will be seeing Mr. Caleb Williams at quarterback for USC, since he may very well be the very first pick of the NFL draft this year by the Chicago Bears. Quite possible. Uh, I'm not sure I would agree with that pick, but, uh, you know, as a Bears fan, but we'll see. I mean, I want them to keep fields and build around fields, but they've already gotten rid of fields, so they have to draft a quarterback, and it will probably be Caleb Williams. So, uh, anyway, um, Stanford, Southern, Car uh, Southern California. Uh, in real life, this game was USC 41, Stanford 28. So we will get on with the game and we will see where it all. You know what? I'm going to defer and uh, kick off right now. We do the kickoff. There's the colors. And uh, they have a really good return. They return it almost uh, to the 35 yard line. So. That's going to be that. Um, let's see. So you've got the, uh, the stats here in this box. And also, let me go up here and get, um, let's see. The play log? No, I don't want that. There was something... There was a, yeah, maybe this is it. Yeah, this is this is probably just it that I was going to have up. So, all right. So let's get, uh, let's get on. Uh, where am I going to put this? I'll put it down here. Or up here. Right here. All right. So let's get on with it. Um, you can see the uh, offense for... Stanford is uh, Elijah Higgins at flanker, Benjamin Urasek at tight end, Miles Hinton at right tackle, right guard is Levi Rogers, the center is Drake Nugent, left guard is Logan Berzins, left tackle is Walter Rouse, the split end is Bryson Tremaine. Wide receiver, John Humphreys. Halfback is Casey Filkins. The quarterback is Tanner McKee. And I believe that's everybody. So, let's get, uh, let's see if we, yeah, okay. So, let's, uh, I'll just put that in. And we'll go balanced. I mean, we're the much better team. So, oh, there's going to be a penalty on the play already. We got the uh, ball carrier for only a yard, though. So I'm going to decline the penalty because he only got a yard. So they have a second and nine at their 34. I am going to look balanced again. And we get a sack. We sacked McKee. Nice. And now I'm going to put in the pass defense for sure. McKee is back. Back to pass, and it's incomplete. So they are going to have to punt. We held them to uh, a three and out on their first possession. And we're going to do the punt return. Again, we don't have to do anything over and above because 
we are the better team. I am going to try to catch the ball and return it, and he doesn't return it anywhere. It digs the fair catch. So um, here's our offense. We're going to have Brendan Rice at wide receiver. Taj Washington at split end. The left tackle is Bobby Haskins. The left guard is Andrew Voorhees. The center is Brent Nealon. The right guard is Justin Dedick. The right tackle is Jonah Moheim, Monheim. Monheim. The fourth wide receiver is Mario Williams. The flanker is Jordan Addison. At quarterback, you got our man of the hour, too sweet to be sour, Caleb Williams. And the fullback, Austin Jones. And let's start off with a line buck with Jones. Just, you know, just to get the feet wet, see what happens here. And he gets a few yards. Nice. Nice carry for four yards there on first down. Uh, let's go, let's try a long pass to Williams. And see what we can get with that. Williams to Williams! And that's going to be a nice connection for, uh, no, it's not going to be a touchdown. This guy is going to close too fast. No, it is! It is a touchdown pass by Caleb Williams. Nice. Well, that didn't take very long. Ah. <laughs> uh. So anyway, we'll we'll do the extra point. And again, um, as you're watching this video right now, if the game becomes too much of a blowout, I will pick certain times in the game, um, maybe in the second half, where I will uh, cut out um, you know portions of the game to uh, quicken it up so that it's not so long a view because. If I put the whole game up, it's an hour, and, you know, you don't want to see USC beating up on Stanford, um, you know, by a ridiculously unbalanced score for an hour, I, I wouldn't think. But uh, anyway, um, I digress. We are going to, we're going to do a linebacker blitz just because we can. And uh, we stop him, but he gets five or six yards on that, it looks like. Yep, five yards. So Stanford has a second and five. I'm going to put in the run. In fact, I'm going to put in the run, and I'm going to key on Philkins. And they do run the ball, and Philkins does get it. Um, and uh, only for a yard, because I was keying on him. So they're going to have a third and four here. I'm going to just put in the general run. And he does run the ball, but we don't get him until he gets the first down. So they do get a first down on this possession. Five yards by Filkins. Um, I'm going to put in the balanced again. I put in the balanced on the first drive, and we held him to three. And out, and he caught the ball, it looks like, but was met right there for only a one-yard gain. That was a nice quick out, too. So I am going to put in the balanced again. The balance seems to work well against... Ooh, we're offsides. So, yeah, that was, that was on us. So this one's going to come back. He's got a second and four at the 47. I am going to... Now I'm going to look for the run. I'm just going to look for the general run. Not going to really key up. Oh, he's going to pass. McKee passing, but it's incomplete. So they're going to have a third and four. We're right back to where we have held him to a third and four like we did before. So let's... I'm going to go pass here. Oh, they ran the ball. Jeez, I knew they were going to do that. And as you can see, Filkins today has five rushes for 23 yards. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go pass here on first down. I think, yes, we caught him passing. And we did knock the ball down. So it's going to be incomplete on first down. 
Now I think you gotta go run. You gotta look for the run because that Filkins guy. No, he's passing. Oh, he completed it. He is moving on us. This may not be the blowout that everybody's expecting. And certainly I am. Um, I'm going to put in the pass. And then he runs. I can't, I can't figure this guy out. But anyway, he didn't get very many yards. He only got three yards on that. We're going to look in the, we're going to look for the run again. And now he is passing. We did catch the receiver, though, before he got the first down, but they only need two yards on uh, third down here. Third and two. I am, I'm looking for the run, and uh, I'm, well, doesn't look like he's, going, he's even set up to do that, but he does, and we get him in the backfield, so he's going to have to kick a field goal. I think we might just hold him to a field goal here. Yep, and we're going to put in the kick block. And we almost got to it, but we didn't, and it is good, and so it is 7-3. to three. And Stanford kicking off to us. 6.26 left in the first quarter here. We are going to run with the ball, obviously. He runs through traffic and gets to the 22-yard line before he's tackled. And uh, we are going to start out with a... Let's start out the same way we did last time. We're going to go line buck with Jones. Mr. Joe owns... And he gets some serious yards. He gets like eight yards on that. Yep. So, I don't know here. I think maybe we're going to go line buck with die the halfback. And he does. He follows his blocker and gets some serious yards. And we have another first down. All right, it's time to continue showcasing Mr. Caleb Williams. So we are going to go with another long pass to the split end Washington. And Caleb Williams is out on, on the run. And he almost got the first down, but he's tackled just short after a nine-yard gain. So we have a... Second and one. Now on second and one, that's the perfect time to throw another long pass to the wide receiver Williams. Because we can always come back and get the first down if we have to. And that is a nice pass, but it's knocked down. So there is going to be an incompletion on that, and we're going to have a third and one. And yeah, we're going to go line buck with the fullback Jones. And he does get the first down. He only gets a few yards, but he gets what we needed. And that's a first down, and we continue our drive. Let's uh, try a higher percentage pass now with Williams. We're going to go short to Washington, the split end. And that's going to be a beautiful pass for a first down and a little more. 16-yard gain on that, it looks like. 15 yards. So we have a 1st and 10, and now I'm going to go long on 1st and 10 to Rice. Oh, Caleb Williams is being flushed from the pocket again. And he gets some serious yards, too. So he gets three yards on that. I mean, you know, maybe not serious yards, but you know, we'll take it. So it's a second and seven now. We're going to go short pass to the flanker, Addison. And he had to do the outlet pass to the running back, and that paid off because he got the first down with it. An 11-yard gain. So 
so we have a situation where we have a first and 10 at the Stanford 20. I'm doing an end run with die. He goes around the end. He gets around the, the, the one guy that was right there. And he gets some serious yards. Five yards. So we got a second and five. Let's try a short pass to the flanker. This could go for a touchdown if he can complete it. And it's incomplete. He just misses his receiver. So we'll have to check on Mr. Caleb Williams and see what he's doing on the day passing. Williams is 3 of 5 for 95 yards and a touchdown. So we have a 3rd and 5. 3rd and 5, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go off tackle with Jones because they're not going to expect that. Oh boy, he got caught in the backfield. So we're going to have to kick a field goal. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to kick a field goal. Let's go regular field goal, not a fake one. Oh, he misses it. Are you kidding me? Who is that? All right. So we missed the field goal. We still have a 7-3 to three lead. I don't know. I mean, we, we're definitely the better team, but I've got everything to lose by losing this game. So anyway, we're going to go balanced defense. Seems to work well for us against him. And uh, there it does work pretty well. He only gets like three yards. Yeah, three-yard gain. And I don't usually run the balance defense this much. I usually use it the first, you know, the first play of the game to just get a feel for the other team. And we're in the second quarter now, too. We've just started the second quarter with a 7-3 to lead. And he has a third and two from his 28, I am going to uh, run and key on Filkins. And he's passing it, and it is a completed pass. So he gets eight yards on that completion, and he keeps moving. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna look for the pass here on first down. Oh, we're offside again. But he should refuse that and take the ball to 50. See if he does do that. And that is exactly what he's going to do. Um, I'm going to look for the pass again. He is passing. And it is complete, but he doesn't get the first down. It's a quick out for six yards. So now he's got a second and four. Now I'm going to look for the run. And I'm just going to do a general look for the run. I'm not going to key on anybody. Any pass, he's passing. But it's in, is it incomplete? It must be incomplete because he didn't keep running. So, yep. It was over his head. So uh, now they've got a third and four. I'm, you got to look for the pass, even though he could run this for a first down. And he, and he does. So they are encroaching on our territory here again. They got a first and 10 at our 39. I'm going to look for the pass on first down. He is going to pass. We need to pick him off. No, he's, it's incomplete. I'm definitely looking for the run on this because apparently McKee is not that great of a quarterback. Um, we're going to look for the run. And he passes. And he, he passes for a first down. He's tricking me. Not that that's hard. I mean, he is today 7 of 12 for 57 yards. So, I can't say that's bad. We're going to look for the run here. He, he doesn't. A uh, little quick pitch, and uh, that's going to get him some yards. Seven yards on that. So the USC defense is being uh, being taken apart here. 
And he passed it, and we were right there to meet him. So he only gets a yard on that. This is key right here. It's third and two. I am looking for the run. I'm looking for the run. No, he's going to pass. That was, well, it, it, but it paid off. I was going to say it was risky because his running back could have gotten two yards. So he keeps moving the ball. He's taking a lot of time, though. Um, I'm going to look for the run. He is going to pass, and it's incomplete. I'm going to look for the run here, too. 10.32 left in the, in the first half. I am going to look for the run. No, he's passing again. And this time we knock it down, so he doesn't complete it. Now it's a third and goal. Third and goal, I think you've got to say you're going to go look for the pass. And if he can run it from there into the... Oh, we're going to sack him! Nice! <laughs> so he has to kick another field goal, baby. He'll have to kick another field goal. And we are going to do the kick block again. We almost got in, in there and, and knocked the uh, other one down. But he makes it good. So now it is to 7-6. A very close game. Not as bad a game and not as big a blowout as the real life game was. Of course, that could be because of my coaching. Don't like to admit that, but it could be. So we're going to return the ball. I'm going to say to run, the, run with the ball. Yeah, run with it. And he gets a nice return out to the 30. So we're going to go into business here at the at our own 30-yard line with 9-10 left. And let's go long to Williams on first down. Oh, they flushed him from the pocket. But he does get five yards. I mean, you know, I got to take that. We have enough time, certainly, to get down the field. So it's a second and five. I'm going to go line buck with the fullback, Jones. And it looks like he's going to get a first down and more. He does. He gets like nine yards on that, as, as a matter of fact. I'm going to go... Um, I'm going to do a look-in pass to the halfback die. And he does catch it, and he got some yards there. Six yards, maybe? Yep. So, Williams today, four of six, 101 yards and a touchdown. Um, I am going to go line buck with die. Die caught that pass. Let's see if he can get a first down. He can. And they guessed right. And uh, we still got the five yards. So we have a first and ten at the Stanford 45. Now let's try another long pass to Addison. And he's rolling out. And again, he's flushed from the pocket and has to run. But he runs for a first down. I mean, if he can run like that, I'm happy to have him on the Bears. Because certainly Fields can run at least that well or better. But I think he'll find in the NFL this competition's a little stiffer. But anyway, today he's rushed four times for 27 yards, which is a 6.8 yard average. And we have a first and 10 at the Stanford 35. Let's try a short pass to the flanker. This time they don't flush him from the pocket. And he hits his receiver for a first down. And we're moving the ball. Moving the ball. Although with this kicker, I don't want to try a field goal. It might be touchdown or bust here. Um, let's see if we can go long. Can we go long? We can go long to Addison. Yeah, let's try that. Uh, it doesn't look like he's going to do that. 
he had to do the outlet guy, and the outlet guy got 11 yards. So. We are going to, on first and 10 at the Stanford 14, we're going to go off tackle with die. Ooh, he got hit immediately. Maybe zero yards on that. One yard. He got one yard. Seven to six lead for us. Uh, second and nine, 436 left in the half. Let's go short to Williams. Williams to Williams. I want to do the Williams to Williams connection. And it looks like that's going to be complete, and it is, but not for a first down. He only gets five yards on that. Hopefully we're close enough that if we have to kick a field goal, this field goal kicker can make that, but we'll see. So we have uh, Williams today is 7 of 9, 127 yards and a touchdown. And Addison has two receptions for 15 yards. We have a third and four. Third and four, this time I'm going to go off tackle with die. And he gets the first down. He just barely gets the first down. We're going to keep the chains moving and the clock at the same time. So we have a first and goal from the four. And I am going to do... Um, let's see... Off tackle Barlow is what the computer would have done. So let's see if that. Well, that was a terrible play. So that's. I'm not going to be listening to the computer too often. We got a second and goal. Second and goal. We're going to go short to the tight end McCray. Got to spread the ball around. Spread around the love. And it is a touchdown pass from Caleb Williams to the tight end. McCree. And we're going to, hopefully Lynch can make at least the extra point. And he does. So we have a 14-6 lead now. Although that is a better score for the first half. There's only 236 left in the uh, first half. So that is a better game than the real life game between these two teams was. And they are returning the ball. And they get a nice return too. Out to their 35. So they got a first and 10 at their own 35. I'm going to look past because time is not on their side here. But they run the ball. And we can't even stop them. Is it me? Or should I expect the USC defense to be a little better than this? But anyway, um, I digress. Um, we are going to look for the... I'm still going to look for the pass. He can run it all he wants because, you know, and he is. All right, now I gotta now I gotta start trying to figure out what he's gonna do, even though he only has like you know under a minute forty here left in the half. A minute fifth. He has a minute fifteen. You know what? I'm still looking for the pass. I don't care if you if you can run the ball all the way down the field, go for it. No, we're gonna sack McKee. So that was uh, that was a good one. So he's got a third and seventeen now, with a minute fifteen left. I am definitely looking pass. We've got the dime in. We're ready to go. And it looks like we're, we should be able to get to McKee. Yeah, that guy came around the, from the other side. McKee is running for the sidelines to stop the clock. But, uh, I mean, he didn't get the first down. So, I don't know what that 
what good that did. And remember, we're going to get the ball in the second half because I deferred. So we're going to we're going to do punt return. I mean, there's no again, no reason to press anything. Now there's a penalty on this play. I don't know if it's on us. Even if it is though, it's not going to be a Let's see what happened here. So I guess they, uh, yeah, I guess it was on us and they're, they're repunting or because they didn't ask me what I wanted to do. So this time I am going to say run with the ball and he doesn't get anywhere. He, it's a fair catch. So we got a first and ten at our eight. So let's um, launch it. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to launch it to Williams. Williams to Williams connection. And that is a nice long pass for a <laughs> completion. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my. You didn't see that coming? I don't. <laughs> All right, so, all right, now it is becoming a little bit of a, uh, um, it is becoming a little bit of a farce here. So, Williams today is 9 of 11, 224 yards and three touchdowns. And, uh, you know, let's, well, we're going to do the extra point. That will make it 21 to 6. So, 21-6, and uh, eight seconds left. I don't expect much more than just the return if he returns it. And again, he gets a good return. They have a great return team. I'll tell you what. But he has one second left. Obviously, I'm going to put in the pass defense. You can run the ball all to your heart's content if you want. And it does. He completes it. Are you kidding me? Is this a completion for a touchdown? No. I got him at the one-yard line. <laughs> Love it. Love that. We got him at the one. So that, that time expires. That's it. That's it, buddy. So, um, after the kickoff, I, I will look at the stats. That is unbelievable. We nipped him at the one-yard line just before he scored. Uh, I'm going to try to run with the ball, and then we'll look at the stats for the first half overall. Okay, so reports, box score. Caleb Williams, 9 of 11, 224 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions, and a quarterback rating of 342.9. McKee is 10 of 17, which is respectable for 126 yards, pretty good, for a quarterback rating of 121.1. Austin Jones, for us, has rushed the ball five times for 25 yards. Uh, Travis Dye has rushed it five times for 23 yards. Caleb Williams has rushed it four times for 27 yards. Uh, for them, Casey Filkins has rushed nine times for 33 yards. Mitch Liegber has rushed it four times for 33. And McKee has rushed four times for negative 19 yards. And there's the receiving stats. I'll let you take a quick look at what the receivers are doing. I'm not going to go down all of them. And so uh, we are in business. And so let's go off tackle with Jones to start it off, just like we started off the game. I think we did a line buck. Well, he only gets a yard or two there. Two yards. So we got a second and eight. I mean, this game is still not out of reach. It's 21-6, and it would have been even closer if he had gotten that one yard that he needed if the guy was able to run one more yard. I'm going to go off tackle with Die um, on that long bomb from McKee that ended the half. And woo, he, woo, <laughs> 
Nice! Look at this breakaway run! This is un this is incredible. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you know. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> they and they guessed right. That's the funny part about this. They guessed right on that run. And uh, so Die today has six rushes for 103 yards and a touchdown. A 17.2 uh, yard rushing average. Extra point is up. It's going to be up and it is good. And it is 28 to 6. Gotta love it. You gotta love it. All right, so we're going to kick off with a 28 6 lead here. 13.52 left in the third quarter. As I said, if it gets to be really, really too bad, and I don't even know that this isn't too bad already, I will skip ahead so that the video isn't like over an hour long. Um, we're going to put in the balanced defense to come out, because why not? And we uh, he completes the pass for like uh, seven yards. Yeah, seven yards. Uh, I'm going to run and key on Liegber. And he is going to pass it. And he's going to complete the pass, too. Not only. So, McKee today is 12 of 19, 140 yards. I'm going to look, I'm going to go back to balanced. And he is back to pass. I mean, there has to be a sense of urgency now on his part to pass the ball a little more, you would think, because he is down by 22 points. So he needs three touchdowns and a two-point conversion on one of the touchdowns. I'm going to look for the pass. Again, I guess we can just look for the pass because if he wants to run the ball, he's welcome to it. And they got 11 yards on that. I'm going to look for the pass again. He has a first and 10 at our 40. But he has to get touchdowns now. He can't settle for field goals. He can't. Um, and that was in. Does, was that incomplete? Looks like it was incomplete. And it was. Uh, he's got a second and 10 at the 40. I'm going to look for the pass again. And he is going to get the first down. And so he is just moving into our territory. But if, again, I've built up enough of a lead um, that it won't be a backbreaker if he gets a touchdown here. And also, it'll cause the video to keep going on longer because, you know, and you not, I me mean, not cutting out too much of it because, you know, he, if he scores here, he can make it 28-13. But we catch him in the backfield. We guessed right. And he lost a yard. So now he's got a second and 11 at the 27. I'm going to look for the pass again. And uh, it is completed, and we just went right by him. And then this linebacker dude is covering a receiver for some reason and not going for the tackle. But anyway, um, yeah, he got a big gain on that. Huge gain. And... Um, but again, I mean, you know, if he wants to do that. Now down here, I am going to look for the run. I think that's really what you're doing here. And he does run the ball. He flips it to his running back for a touchdown. Now let's see if they go for the two-point conversion here. They don't have to do that just yet. But they are going to do it. So <laughs> we're going to look for the run. I'm always going to look for the run down there. And he does get the two-point conversion. So it is 28-14. He's only down two touchdowns. So we're going to keep you, we're going to keep the viewing audience, at least for right now, we're going to keep the viewing audience here. We're not going to cut away to the Heidi game, the Heidi show. 
Um, we are going to try to run the ball. And anybody out there that's old enough to get what I meant by that, good for you. So uh, only an eight-yard return. I'm going to go off tackle with a halfback die. Oh, he's going to get caught in the backfield. Man, man, the Stanford defense is rising to the occasion. The Stanford team is, is rising to the occasion. All right, we're going to, of course we're going to launch it. We're going to go long right here. And Caleb Williams is flushed from the pocket again. Or runs on his own, you know, who knows. But he gets eight yards. So now we got a third and two. Uh, thir third and three. Third and three at the 27. I'm still going to go line buck here with die. And he gets the first down and a lot more. I don't know if they expected that. So we got a first and 10 at our own 44. Let's go short pass to Addison. Oh, Caleb Williams flushed from the pocket again, but of course that's always pretty good for us. He runs the ball that time for three yards. Not too bad. I'll take it. So he's rushed six times for 38 yards, a 6.3 yard average. Let's go off tackle with Jones. And he only gets a couple yards, I think. Three yards. He gets three yards. All right. So it's third and four. Third and four. We're going to go, uh, we're going to go look in pass. to Rice. And it is completed for a first down and a little bit more. Ten yard gain there on that. And Williams is 10 of 12 today for 234. Three touchdowns, no interceptions. Let's go long again. Let's do it. Let's go long to the to the split end Washington. We haven't passed to him yet. Oh, but he does an outlet pass. Was it complete? It might have been complete. Yeah, it is. Complete for four yards. So we have a second and six at the 36. Let's go long to the split end Washington. Oh, he's going to get sacked. That was the first really bad thing that Caleb Williams has done this game. He gets dropped for an eight-yard loss. So now we've got a third and a long way to go. Third and 14 at the Stanford 44. I'm going to go short to the flanker Addison. They should be looking for the pass, obviously. It is complete, though, and we move the ball a little bit here, and we're in no man's land where you have a tough decision between punting and going for it, and I'm probably going to go for it. I'm probably inclined to say I'm going for it. Williams is 12 of 14, 247, and three touchdowns. We got a fourth and five at their 35. I am going to go with out of the pro set and... We're going to do a short pass to McKee, McCree, the tight end. Oh, he got sacked. Oh, my God. I don't believe that. All right. So the Stanford defense comes up big, again, maybe because of my coaching. But they have a first and 10 at their own 37. 
I'm going to look for the pass. Again, you know, if you want to run the ball, run the ball, but you're, it's going to take you a while to work your way down the field. And even when I look for the pass, he completes it like he just did right there for, you know, a five-yard gain. So, yeah, don't go anywhere yet. It's uh, There's 3.08 left in the third quarter, and uh, it's 28-14. We're going to look for the um, pass. And he does run the ball, and he does get the first down, but he just gets the first down. Five yards, I'll take that every day and twice on Sunday with a two-touchdown lead with only 2.49 left in the third quarter. So we're going to look for the pass again. And he runs the ball, and this time we got we got him. I mean, you know, we were even looking for that. Oh, wait, no, he pa I guess he passed it. I guess he passed it to his running back guessed right. So, uh, second and nine. We're going to look for the pass. We are going to make it as hard on him to pass the ball and get a lot of yards off the pass as we can possibly make it. And he hits John Humphreys on this for an 11-yard uh, gain. And we're going to look for the pass. And he runs the ball. And we do catch him eventually, but he does get the first down. Again, the clock is just working against him. By the time he scores, we'll be in the fourth quarter. And if he, even if he gets a touchdown, I'm up by a touchdown with possession of the ball. So uh, he's back to pass, as I had put in the pass, and it's incomplete. Tanner McKee. And we are going to look for the pass again. And he runs the ball, and this time we do stop him prior to the first down. Now now it's a little bit of a decision here. He's got a third and four. I am going to look for the run. I think he'll run the ball out of this formation. No, he doesn't. He does an outlet pass to his running back. But we do stop him after a respectable gain uh, of uh, nine yards. And again, it's now we're in the fourth quarter, so it's just about making him take as long as possible to score. He runs the ball, and it's going to be a fumble. Did we recover it? I'm just going to I'm going to fall on the ball. We're just going to fall on the ball, and that was a key mistake from him. Two two key mistakes in this game, and really one of them wasn't a mistake. The guy just couldn't get the last yard that he needed on that last pass of the half, and then this fumble. So we have a 28-14 lead with 14-29 left. We're going to go off tackle with die. This is a much better game than the real one, and there is some serious yards on that. Four-yard gain. I guess they were weary that he was going to try the long bomb again like I did at the end of the half, near the end of the half. Let's go look in pass to the fullback Jones. And Jones catches it. Is it is it Jones? Yep, it is. Austin Jones catches it for 10 yards. So we have a... First and 10 at our 20. Let's try a short pass to Williams. Now I feel like we can, you know, loosen it up a little bit. And it is a completed pass! And could that be another touchdown? <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, that's a uh, touchdown. So... And we are going to put the extra point up, which will make it 35-14. And that's right in the vicinity of, well, not, not really for them. They had 28 in real life. But for us, it's in, right in the vicinity of where we are. You know, I'm going to play this one out. I'm going to play it out. Um, if you want to watch, you can watch. If you want to fast forward ahead to the end of the fourth quarter, near the end of the fourth quarter, you can do that too. Um, but I am going to play this out. 
We're not going to do any quick playing or any of that. And now he really has to pass. I mean, you can run the ball like this, and that's nice, and that's a nice little gain you got there, a little 12-yard gain for you. But that isn't going to win you the game when you are down by three touchdowns. So we're going to put in the pass again. And this time McKee tries to run the ball, and we sack him. He didn't see anybody open. He tried to run up the middle. He got zero yards. And now we have a second and ten. I am going to look for the pass, of course. And it's incomplete on top of that. So McKee today is 19 of 29 passing for 224 yards. And we are going to look for the pass on third and ten. And that's incomplete. So now he's got a fourth and ten. It'll be interesting to see what he does here. Fourth and ten yards on the, on the USC defense, and he is going to punt. We And we might as well try punt block here because we got nothing to lose. We're playing with house money here. But it didn't work. I am going to try to run with the ball. And he gets two or three yards, I think, on the return. Four yards. So, let's launch it. <laughs> We're going to go long to Addison. 10.53 left in the game. And that's incomplete. He throws it over everybody's head. The defender and our receiver. Let's try a short pass to Williams. Williams to Williams connection. And he gets some good yards there, eight yard uh, pass. So we're going to have a third and two. Caleb Williams today, 15 of 18, 345 yards and four touchdowns. We're going to go line buck would die on third and two. And he gets caught in the backfield. But you know what? I'm going to make this interesting. We're going to go for it. We're going to go out of the pro set. And we're going to do a look-in pass to Washington. And he does catch it. And now it's not. It's less than interesting because now we just keep the chains and the clock moving with possession of the ball. And only 8.45 left. And now we're going to go long again to Addison. And that's going to be over everybody's head. Incomplete. Williams is like, come on, you can't call that every time, on every drive. I mean, I'm not going to trick him that much. So we have a second and ten. We're going to go short. Short pass to Williams. And he passes it through traffic for a nine-yard gain. And we have a we have a third and one coming up. And we are going to go line buck with Williams, the quarterback. I mean, he's the man of the hour, so let's try that. And he does get a first down and more, but he fumbles the ball. What are you talking about, Williams? But we can fall on the ball, and I'm going to do that. So we'll recover it back. He gets a quarterback sneak for six yards. And we are going to launch it. You know I'm launching it. We're going to go long to Addison. First and ten at the 38 of Stanford. And that's going to be caught, but the defender was right there with him in lockstep. So this time they prevented a touchdown, but it is a, still a 29-yard gain on the pass. And that makes Williams today 18 of 22 for 395 yards, four touchdowns, and no interceptions. And we're going to go off tackle with Jones on first down. And he's going to get almost to the end zone. He just got tackled at the three. 
for a six yard gain. And there is six minutes left in the game. We're going to go line buck with die. Let's go line buck with die on this. And he gets a touchdown. So Travis died with the touchdown, three yards out. Um, we will kick the field goal. And with this, we have one point more than the actual USC team had in this game. We have 42. In real life, USC scored 41. But we've held Stanford to uh, only half of what they actually got. And now we just have to pin our ears back and look for the pass because that's all he really can do with 548 left. And we're going to look for the pass. And he does run. Again, nice yards, nice stats for these kids, but it's not going to help. not going to help you win the game. And we are going to look for the pass again. 4.53 left in the game. He runs the ball again, and he gets a first down. And he can do that all day and twice on Sunday, for all I care. Seven-yard gain and a first down. And we're going to look for the pass. And uh, that's complete. It looks like it's complete. But we got him right there where he caught the ball for four yards and we're gonna look for the pass and we get him get him quickly looking for the pass here on third and six be interesting to see if he doesn't get it what he does and it is incomplete so it is going to be interesting to see here does he go for it on fourth and six and he is and as he would have to and we're looking for it we stopped him it might have been a, a completed pass but it when it was for a loss of one yard so did he put in, uh, yeah, he put in the backup quarterback now. So we're just going to go run the ball with die. I mean, I'm not going to bother to put Williams in and get him some more yards. Actually, really, maybe I will because I think he's just short of 400 yards. So maybe we do want to do that. So, um, yeah, Miller Moss, let's... Um, I don't know how to, uh, I mean, I should be able to make the change here. Um, hmm. I don't know why I, it, it won't, well, he, apparently, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to obsess over it. He's not letting me put Caleb Williams back in, so. But, you know, Miller Moss or whatever his name is, that dude is, is good. <laughs> he just got a 20-yard pass. So let's see what he's doing. He's one of one today for 20 yards. Let's go short pass to Rice. And Miller Moss out on the run. Now, he's not quite Caleb Williams, and he shows it there. Under a minute now left in the game. Um, let's go short pass to the halfback die. And we're offside or movement or something. It was on us though, whatever it was. Yep, offsides. So he's got a second and 14. Let's go short pass to the split end. 
I mean, we're putting in all the backups. Every guy is a backup now, it seems like. And Moss is out on his own again on the run. Again, he's not a Caleb Williams. And we have a... And that's game over. Game over. So we'll take a look at the box score. We won 42-14. Had about the same number of points. One more than in real life. Um, here, I'm just going to let you look at the stats. I'm not going to read them off to you, but they were all pretty great for us. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so we win that one, and that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.